Hello, my name is Gabe Zalna. This tragedy that took place in Connecticut on Friday, it'll live in the minds of people for many, many years, and for those families, probably for the rest of their lives as well. It's sad. It was unavoidable. There was nothing that anyone could have done to prevent the madman from going on a killing spree the way he did. What it's also done, though, is it's brought the maggots out of the woodwork. It's brought people like... Um, Mayor Bloomberg, and um, you know he's 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 on this gun campaign now, and it also also brought uh, a Boston mayor. You might remember Thomas Menino. Well, Tommy was the guy that sort of flipped out uh, when uh, the CEO of uh, Chick Fil A said what he did uh, against homosexuals. Both uh, Tommy and uh, the mayor of Chicago, you know, Rami, Rami baby, they both flipped out. Anyway, that's the last time I heard anything from Tommy, but now Tommy's back on a bandwagon because Obama kicked it off. Obama, when he had that, you know, he's doing one of these for, I don't know, a couple of times. I think he did it three or four times. I don't know, he must have had something in his eye because he wasn't crying, there were no tears, so I guess he had something in his eye, he was trying to take it out of his eye so he could read the teleprompter more effectively. But anyway, so what Tommy's now saying, and I did a video on what Bloomberg already said, and you know, I just finished that this morning, but here's another one. Um, so what Tommy's saying, he says, as a mayor who has witnessed too many lives forever altered by gun violence, it is my responsibility to fight for action. Today's tragedy reminds us that now is the time for action. Innocent children will now never attend a prom, never play a big game, never step foot on a college campus. Now is the time for a national policy on guns that takes the loopholes out of the laws, the automatic weapons out of our neighborhoods, and the tragedies like today out of our future. Well, Tommy, let me give you a couple of little suggestions here. First of all, you need to understand the difference between an automatic weapon and a semi-automatic weapon. There were no automatic weapons used, okay? And automatic weapons are very difficult to obtain, even in states that allow them. They require special background checks, special certification. So, you know, I mean, even in states that allow weapons, like Arizona, and you can get an automatic weapon, but the hurdles you have to go through are pretty significant. But in your state, being a blue state, uh-uh, that'll never happen. Now, you did say that you witnessed too many lives forever altered by gun violence. Why don't you go check your records and you'll probably find that 99.999% of those gun violence were with people that committed the gun violence with guns that were not registered. They were like illegal guns because the good guys can't even have guns, you know? So, that's number one. Now, you can't control drugs, all right? That's why it's a multi-billion dollar industry. So how do you propose to control guns? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stop allowing people to buy ammunition? They'll make their own. Are you gonna stop them from buying powder and bullets? Uh, they'll get them elsewhere, you know? There's other countries you can buy that from. The bottom line is that what has to happen is God has to be brought back into this country and it's being taken out of this country by this administration. And, Tommy, the loopholes don't need to be taken away. There aren't any loopholes, all right? You notice that the highest crime rates are blue states. You ever wonder why that is, Tommy? Let me tell you why, Tommy. Because the good guys can't protect themselves. Now, only the bad guys can protect themselves. The good guys, they can't do that, see, because they can't have access to a weapon. Now, let me show you something, Tommy. If someone were to come into my house, this is what would greet them, Tommy. This is a 45 stainless steel, six hour, semi-automatic, okay? Now, it's legally registered, and I'm licensed to carry it. So, bad guys got to know that this is what's waiting for them. But you see, in your state, citizens can't protect themselves, can they, Tommy? So why don't you get off your bandwagon and figure out 
the difference between a semi-automatic and an automatic, and also figure out how you can control your drugs. That's a real big issue. How many people are dying in your city every day from overdose? You ever think of that, Tommy? I'm sure you've seen their bodies too, huh? I mean, you're the mayor. I gotta believe you see a lot of OD cases in your state. Why don't you work on the drugs? You can't control what you can't control, Tommy. And you need to stay out of the limelight, because every time you step into it, you get it all over yourself, you know what I mean?